got to labor up in this, man. This ain't something that, oh, I did something. So what? What if I got to say, oh, I did what I did 20 years ago, and it's now? What the most, what the most I care about that? What do you care about that? It's about what you've done for me lately and continue to do for me. Right. And following this work and trying to find means of being able to put works in the book, like I always say. Whatever we do on the right side, for the most high, I'll check every side this truth. And whatever we do on for ourselves on the left side, and you look, you add it up. Right. And then you say you're gonna make it to the kingdom? I don't know, man. It's it's hard. I battle with that because it's like I don't think it's enough being done, enough being done, and it's like, how am I gonna make it? How are you gonna make it when I look at what it is that I'm looking at look at I've done? And I still, and even if I feel I did a lot, I still say I ain't did enough. So I will do more. You see what I'm saying? Laboring in this, what, what can be done? What can be done? You know, everybody has something they can do. Something is, is nothing but say, hey, read this. Hey, read this. Check this out. We've done it. Hand out thousands of flyers in a couple hours. You see what I'm saying? They can go real fast. Out there, you know, willing and dealing, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, they go just like that. Uh, Whenever you have certain certain things that's going on, that's right. labor. I'm just giving you just ideas, you know, as far as that's just an idea, but our people are being reached. Many people are being reached, and they see, hey, what's going on? They remember that you the one that enlightened them to what it is that they were able to read. They might never come to class. Or well, some might come to class, right. but it's enough on on there for them to get their interest. They, a lot of people is on the conference call. Right. They don't say anything, you know what I mean? But they still learning. They still on there learning, you know what I mean? Eventually, like a brother said something. He spoke to me. and said been on for two years, <laughs> and he finally said, "Shut him up, brother," you know. So it's not going. Like I can say it's not going out in vain because right. it's the most working. My chef El Shai, he, he has his hand in this, you know. Uh -huh. Uh, let's look at uh, go to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, man. Huh? The fourth chapter. And I want you to start at verse 10. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 10. He pleased the Most High. Mashiach Yahushai pleased the Most High. He pleased the Most High. This is about Mashiach Yahushai. We're in the Old Testament. Read. And was loved of him. How was he highly pleased the Most High? He didn't sin. He didn't sin. So if he didn't sin, he did what? He followed the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's what he did. He made his body a living sacrifice uh -huh. for all of us. You see? Yeah. Read. So that living among sinners, he was translated. Living among who? Sinners. Sinners, right? Uh -huh. Living among who? Sinners. Sinners. Living among sinners, he was translated. Uh, Read. Yeah. So he wasn't hanging out with the righteous, <laughs> the holy rollers and all that. He was living among sinners. Uh, and he had to have a certain personality to be amongst them and be accepted. Uh, uh, you see what I'm saying? Uh, you ain't been around them and you acting like you all better than them, you this, that, and third. You're gonna be dealt with. Right, right, right. You're gonna be dealt with. So he had that wisdom right. to go in there and talk to them and bring them out of the situation they was in to right. become a better person. Right. Without destroying them for where they was at. Because right. he came to save sinners. You see, he came to save the sinners. We got, we got, since I'm saying, you got to go to, go to Matthew 11, 19. Hold that though. He 
because he made it clear. It's clear here. People think they all that. Read that. St. Matthew, chapter 11, verse 19. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous. A man gluttonous, like to eat a lot, read. And a wine bibber. <coughs> and a wine bibber. He drank wine in moderation. Uh -huh. That's why the church is saying you can't drink, right? Church would be saying you can't drink. Right. He turned water, the first miracle he done was turn water into wine. Uh -huh. Did he sin? Uh -huh. So how is that a sin? How are they going to say that's a sin when that's the first miracle? I'm saying these are the things that you just cut them straight up. I never understood that. What? How, how that was his first miracle, but then they tell you it's a sin in the Christian church. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you just say, you ask him, what was his first miracle he done? They're going to say, hey, you turn water into wine. <laughs> who did it? <laughs> you got to ask them, who did it? Right, right. First, you ask, you ask the question, did he sin? Right. They're going to say what? No, he never sinned. Right. Now you ask them, well, can we drink? Right. Can we drink wine? No, mm -hmm. it's a sin. Right. Okay, wait a minute now. What's the first miracle of Mashiach Yahushai done? He turned water into wine. So you corner them. Right. Right. They go, when they say, well, uh, why would he have the people, why would he do something that would cause the people to sin? Right. Right. Uh. <laughs> so what they say about him? Matthew 11, 19. Say Matthew chapter 11, verse 19. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, behold, a man gluttonous, and they wine bitter. Go ahead. A friend of publicans and sinners. A friend of who? A publicans and sinners. See? I mean, come on now. How do you gain say on that? You can't be holding it now and condemning everybody because they ain't, they don't know what you know or they, you know what I mean, they're not where you at. And then next thing you know, people put so much so, so much as someone that they think is dead, that they go, oh, I'm sorry, I have sinned. <laughs> I have done this wrong. And they done put all this faith in them. They done told everybody, you, but they come out and say, I have done wrong. What, they, what, what have they done? Yeah. That's wrong. They have sinned. Sin. You see, they have sinned. <laughs> so it is what it is. I mean, this, this is what they call, just like they call them a gluttonous and a wine bibber, they called us Christians in Antioch. Right. They called us Christians, you know? Yeah, they did. They called us Christians, like they called him a gluttonous and a wine bibber. Right. You see what I'm saying? They said he drinking wine. Yeah, right. We had it, look. What did they say? What was he, what was he a bro? <clears throat> Go back to the Solomon. What's the Solomon in chapter 4, verse 10? Uh-huh. He pleased the most high and was beloved of him, so that living among sinners, living where? Among sinners. Living among sinners, read. He was translated. He was translated. Go ahead. Verse 11. Yeah, speedily was he taken away. Hey, speedily. He had to be taken away, read. Lest that wickedness should alter his understanding. So understand this. Y'all gotta hear this in the spirit. Speedily, he had to be taken away, lest the wickedness would alter his understanding. Mm. This is a Mashiach was shot. Mm. So now, that's why we got to really, really, really dig deep into the spirit that had a mind of a Mashiach was shot because Mosiah let him be here 30 years, no, 33 years. You see? Right. Mosiah to take him out of here. Lest his mind, his mind, would have been altered by the wickedness that was in the world at that time. Mm. Look at all the wickedness that we're dealing with now. Yeah. Uh, in abundance. Uh, Every day. 
There's something going on. That's why we got to be really, really, really in the spirit with the most high, man. That's the only hope we have in these times of tribulation that's coming on this earth. And the Mashiach Yahu Shai going to the most high on our behalf. Because remember, the most high is the reason for everything. The reason for everything. He would be praised for what? Everything. Everything. Hallelujah. It's kind. Hallelujah. Yeah, he's, he's worthy to be praised for everything. People are, you gotta understand, people are not giving him the, the glory for what's going down. You know why? As I said earlier, they don't know the most high. Right, right, right. They only know him and they done, they done came up with their own power, they call him God, right. that's only dealing with something they can benefit from. Right. Most of, first and foremost, something they can benefit from. Not the fact that he is everything. Who is it that sees the disasters happening? This go, they go in there doing it and say, oh, the most high killed them. <laughs> most high had to put the devil. Who said, I mean, they tell you in the church, hey, everybody's days are numbered. Right. You know that, oh, the most high knows everybody's days. Right? But yet still, whenever these, these, these things happen, the most high say, I kill. I make a lot. I wound and I heal. Where is he getting any kind of credit at in this world? People not talking about him. They ain't confessing the Most High. They definitely ain't confessing him. They call him Mother Nature. El Nino, little little boy, and little girl. La Nina, little girl. I mean, come on, man. Where is he being exalted? That's why I'm gonna tell y'all, when he do what he's getting ready to do on this earth, everybody gonna know the most high. Right. How long? Forever. Forever. And ever and ever, man. Everybody gonna know him. And they're gonna know a Mashiach Yahushai for what he's gonna allow him to do and bring forth the fire. Right. And the brimstone. Right. And the flaming breath to destroy everything that have power. We shut all these kingdoms down and set up righteousness on this earth. I don't know why no one would want to be in a righteous kingdom unless you're just wicked as ever, right? All right, all right. You understand what I'm saying? Especially us Israelites, when you tell them, hey, no more sadness. Nobody ever going to disgrace you anymore. No more reproach. No more pain. No more sorrow. You don't want that? This ain't talking about what you learned that they taught us on slavery. Right. We got it right here. Right. We have it right here to learn it, to live it, to apply it in our life, to get there, to get that victory we just read about. That's what it's all about. Right. So most I had to get Kamash Yaakov Shai out of the world. Y'all realize that was 2,000, do you realize we talking about 2,000 years ago? We talking about now? 2,000 years of wickedness. And here we are thinking that we all that. Right. You what the most I said? Read that again now. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 11. Yet speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding. That? This is a Mashiach that was shot. Speedily was taken away, lest wickedness, man, would alter his understanding. That's why we gotta really be in this and don't allow certain spirits, those especially now, the spirits to come in to alter your understanding that you really, you know, like you men, you can't be infeminate. You can't, you can't, you gotta look at a woman, study that woman. That woman, shit, that woman is something else. She's something else. You can't be like that. And then a woman wants you to be like them. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be like them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it ain't gonna work. A real man ain't gonna be like that. You gonna, you, you gonna look at that, oh, no, nah, I'm not going there. Right. You see what I'm saying? Most I had to get him out of here, man. This is a real film of vibration in this world today, man. Come on, come on. Absolutely. With men and women being masculine, you know, being hardcore, yeah. it's bad, man, it's real bad. And it's been accepted. 
Yeah. So now you really, when you when you change it and you see yourself not accepting that, inquiring for all the abominations that's being done on this earth, that's when you start to realize you're changing. You got that mark that the most I want you to have. And not yield to the wickedness of this world. You hear what he said? To alter his understanding. So are you, is your mind going to be altered? You're going to allow the most high to, to, to have someone come down and go, let's see, because the most high man of war. Right. We ain't never puppets to the most high. Let's move over here. Let's move my left hand over here and see what he's going to do. I move, move over there and see, get, get him. See what, what he's going to do. Oh, he's supposed to be there, all that? Yeah, let's see. Woo, woo, woo. See what he did to Job. Right. Ain't none of us beyond that. Right. Ain't none of us beyond that. Right. Say, please him the blue Samashiach that was shot. Right. That's what we're talking about, y'all. Right. That's why he said he had to get his son out of here. Right. Left this wicked world with an altar his understanding. All this wickedness that was around him. Y'all look at the Romans, man. The Romans is the same. We in the Greco Roman Empire right now. Only it's worse. Right. In your face. Worse. And people gotta accept it. We don't. Or deceit. Be or, de quiet. or what? Or deceit. Be quiet and so. See? Or deceit. Lies. Beguile his spirit, man. His soul, his body. Read. Verse 12. For the bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest. Mm -hmm. The bewitching of naughtiness. The bewitching of naughtiness, man. The filthy, wicked acts that's going on in the world does obscure things that are honest. Read. And the wandering of concupiscence does undermine the simple mind. Right. The simple mind, man. So I most I get five hours. One and uh I think it's twenty-two. That's why I said this is what happens to the simple mind. That's why you can't be no simple-minded person. The only way you're not gonna be simple-minded is to know what? This word. Con. Read that. I think that's it. Con. Read it. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. How long, ye simple ones? Yeah, he said, you simple-minded person. He said, how long, you simple ones, read? Well, ye love simplicity. Well, you love simplicity. That's why I look at people, it's like, everybody trying to get me to change how we do our culture. Now, it don't take a rocket science to figure out that today, is the last day of the Feast of Dedication. Right. And what's the date? The second Shabbat. No, I'm talking about what's the date? Hmm? 11. 11? 11, right? So, but actually, the eating of the 11 that we started when it, when it was dark, started the 12th. Because Esau, 12th day, gonna start when? In the daytime. No, 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 no. At midnight. Thank you. At midnight. At midnight. A few hours from now. Right. So, I was like, how long are you simple ones when you love simplicity? Our people, we don't want to think. You want everything laid out for you so that it's easy. This truth is not easy. This ain't, this not easy. But you want it simple, okay? Today is the 12th. Not the 11th. Right. Because this evening started a new day. Uh -huh. In Esau's world, 12 o'clock tonight, and said midnight, gonna start the 12th, right? Uh -huh. We just start a little earlier. Right. Yeah. So if say, if it say, you say, look at the day that's there when it starts. And it starts when it, it's dark. Uh, uh. When there ain't no more light.